let's do some politics because the National Democratic Congress, which by the way is related to health, is accusing government of crippling the National Health Insurance Scheme, contrary to claims by the president that the scheme is doing fine. The NDC is observing that managers of the schemes are misapplying the scarce resources and they say it is making it difficult for subscribers to enjoy the full benefit of the scheme. National Communications Officer of the Party, Samit Jemfi, has been speaking at the third edition of the NDC's Moment of Th Truth series and he wants the authorities to prudently manage the sparse resources to reverse the imminent collapse, according to them, of the scheme. We will submit to you this morning that contrary to the flowery and rosy picture that President Ekufuado continues to paint at every given opportunity about the state of the National Health Insurance Scheme, in actual fact, the National Health Insurance Scheme is on the verge of collapse. And at this stage, I will proceed to examine certain key indicators that form the basis of our assertion that the National Health Insurance Scheme is on the verge of collapse and, as a matter of fact, in coma. The first is the indebtedness of the scheme. Ladies and gentlemen, recently in the State of the Nation address and while on the tour of the United States of America, President Akufuado peddled blatant untruth when he claimed that the National Health Insurance Scheme, quote, is buoyant and has come back to life, unquote. The truth of the matter is that the National Health Insurance Scheme, very known to the president, is in a deplorable state and gasping for liquidity breath. Currently, the National Health Insurance Scheme owes service providers in all the 16 regions of Ghana claims covering a period of almost 12 months, a situation that has landed most healthcare facilities in the country in distress. For instance, the Daily Graphic reported on Thursday, 28 March 2019, that the Central Regional Hospital is on its knees begging to be paid an amount of 6.1 million Ghana cities owed to it by the scheme in order to settle its indebtedness to suppliers of critical drugs and medical consumables. This is just one. This is just one example of how our health facilities are being crippled by the huge indebtedness of the National Health Insurance Scheme. The nose diving fortunes of the National Health Insurance Scheme manifest itself in the continuous decline in active membership of the scheme in the last two years. This fact is supported by the following statistics. And here again, friends from the media, you can see on the screen a table which presents the declining active membership in the National Health Insurance Scheme over the last two years. So you can see that in 2016, when our brothers in the MPP made a lot of noise that the National Health Insurance Scheme had collapsed, active membership in the scheme was a total of 10,786,000, representing a nationwide coverage of 39%. Million, 10 million, 786,000 million people. Then in 2017, again you can see, that figure has reduced from 10,786,000 people to 10,422,000 people, representing a nationwide coverage of 37%. Again, 2018, active membership in the scheme reduced from 10,422 million people in 2017 to 10,410,000 people, representing a nationwide coverage of 35%. And so, how can our president claim that the National Health Insurance Scheme is currently buoyant and back to life when active membership in the scheme keeps on declining 
at such an alarming rate. Sami Jemfi is Communications Director for Opposition NDC there with the details of what they believe is collapsing the National Health Insurance Scheme there. We'll bring you more and more discussions and analysis in the subsequent bulletins. Right now though, we'll have to say a very big congratulations to Emma Morrison. Uh, for the Glitz Excellence in Corporate World Awards that he re she received over the weekend. Well, this is where I draw the curtain. You can log on to myjoyonline.com for more news and information. And of course, we've got our top story there for you about the deaths, the needless deaths, if you like, following the floods in the city. If you do want to follow our discussions here on Joy News, you can scroll all the way down to that page where our YouTube link is and to make yourself comfortable with the information.